Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Landmas to you. Today I'm going to be doing glam on a budget, baby. All of the products that I'm going to be using today to take this face from this little marshmallow puddle to something a little bit more festive and fabulous. We're using all affordable drugstore makeup products today. And I've got a little inspo photo. This is a Patty Dubroff. I'm going to, you know, here's my reference photo sitting here on my phone, but Dan will very kindly just pop this up. Uh, this is a look she did on Lily Collins and I was very, very inspired by it. Nice, like cool toned, little smoky, wingy eye going on there with some silver glitters and then a gorgeous, juicy berry lip. So that's what I would like to accomplish today. After the fact, we're gonna be donning some sequins and just doing a whole getting ready, a little holiday inspired getting ready together on a budget. So just in case everything goes south today, I am going to start with the eyes, my friends. I've already done my eyebrows, and we're going to start by putting a little bit of concealer on the eyes. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Magic Eraser. Is it magic? No, I just put in magic. <laughs> this concealer! This is the shade 100 Ivory. I haven't used it in a really long time. I bet the sponge is pretty gross, but... Mm, you know, we just love to tempt fate when it comes to the eyeballs, don't we? I'm gonna take a little kabuki brush and just blend that all over and just cover up all of the veinage and all of the discoloration on my lids and get a nice sticky tacky base ready and prepped for eyeshadow. How is that nice long description? Wow! <laughs> I always forget how deliciously creamy this concealer is. That blends out so, so nicely. I, I have got to keep that out and use it more. It's beautiful. I applied a lot and unintentionally did the little eyebrow chisel again. <laughs> gonna, need to, gonna need to fix that brow. <laughs> So the look appears to have just this beautiful, like smoky gray kind of following a lovely V shape along the eye into the crease. And then it just looks like, like there's no liner, there's no winged liner, nothing. It just looks like really fluffy, fluttery lashes and then some gorgeous glitter on top. So I figured to build up the shade, I kind of want to start slow Maybe use a little cream to blend up the color in the crease first. And I wanted to play with the Rimmel London Wonder Cloud All Day Wear Soft Shadow. This one is in the shade 003 Truffle Haze. And I'm not sure, I think I'm gonna just apply it onto my hand first, just because I don't really know how it's going to apply in the eye. So I'm just gonna take some of the product off on my hand, but it appears to be this really beautiful soft shadow. It's kind of a little bit more warm, but I think that'll be nice to just build up the color in the crease and then we can always go in with shadow after and deepen it up. But I wanted to start building the color with this. So I'm gonna take this on a shader brush and just start to build up the shape. So I'm going to take this and create that nice V. You can always clean up under here as well. So don't worry about being too precise. And I'm going to drag that into the crease. Sorry guys, also, if it annoys anyone, like, I just have to keep my Invisalign in. <laughs> I am so close to the end. We're filming a lot because it's Landmas, and I just can't, I can't afford to keep it out while I'm filming all these vids. I gotta, I gotta keep them in, you know? Gotta let the braces do their work. This shadow is very, very soft. Like it's kind of barely there <laughs> and fading in a little bit to the concealer. So we're definitely gonna have to add some depth with shadow, but we're getting a nice map here for where we wanna place the shadow and a nice creamy base. So that is okay. I'm basically just like circling around the center of the lid in the crease, just patting that in. And actually because it's really light, I'm not really having to be <laughs> as precise with it, which is, kind of nice. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and then we'll move on to shadow. So for the shadow, I'm thinking that the nice deep gray brownie shades in this Wet n Wild palette, this is the 757A Nude Awakening palette. I feel like this is going to be the perfect color to kind of deepen up 
that crease and color for us. And then I actually, I wanna go back into that e.l.f. bite size palette. The palette is the shade Truffles, and I feel like this glitter here is gonna be really helpful in building up that silvery color. I also have some of the Annabelle Chrome shadows in case you wanna intensify the glitter, but that's kind of the, the plan right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this, this deepest shade here and take a little fluffy brush and we're just going to build that up into the crease and then if we need to go in and blend i'm going to be using this shade to blend it in so starting with that deeper shade i'm basically just going to be really softly patting that on top of the cream eyeshadow that we have already placed i went a little bit heavy on this one but that's okay we can attempt to blend it out after i'm just going to be building up that color intensifying the shade and really softly blending it in as I go. So as I go, I'm just gonna be flipping between the dark shadow on this brush and then taking a bigger fluffy brush with that lighter transition shade and just using that to blend it out and soften it as we go. I'm gonna take a little pointy Q-tip and just clean up those edges. Whoop, so smooth. I'm also just gonna take a little bit more concealer. I kind of went a little bit rogue here with the gray and I'm just gonna place the concealer back onto the lid, just on the mobile eyelid and try to map out the area where I want the glitter to go. I don't want the depth of the shadow to interrupt the shimmer that we're gonna be putting on. So I'm just gonna put a preventative layer of the concealer here. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and take that same flat brush and dip it into the lovely silver glitter shade. And I'm gonna place that right on top of that concealer that we put down. Okay, so then on top of this, I'm, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of layering here, just because this one isn't much of a chunky shimmer. It's actually like quite a, a creamy, shimmery shadow. And so is this one from Annabelle, but you kind of get that nice sheen from it. This is the Annabelle Single Chrome Shadow in the shade Gold. Even though they have a shade Aurum that is like much more gold, this one's much more on the like cool toned, more champagne side. So what I'm gonna do is just take some of that onto my finger. I'm taking some off on the palm of my hand and I'm just gonna press that on top and it's gonna give that like more chunky glitter effect like the one that Patty has done on the beautiful Lily in there. So just taking a lot of it off and just pressing it on top of the lid, it's gonna make the chunks a little bit more piecey. But then because we've got that silver base, it's just looking a little bit more on the silver side. At least in my brain, that's what's happening. That glitter likes to travel, so I'm just gonna take a little makeup wipe and make sure we've got none under the eye there. We are gonna visit the under eyes a little bit more later, but for now, I'm just gonna take a small detailed brush and dip into that deeper shadow. And even though she doesn't have any liner going on, I still just wanna take a little bit of that deeper shadow and just press that along the lash line just to make sure that we have a little base for when the mascara goes on, as well as our individual lashes. I just wanna put a little something something on the lash line. Okay, next I'm going to apply mascara. This is the Revlon So Fierce Mascara that is covered in concealer. I am so sorry, how rude of me. I'm gonna put a good healthy coating of this on. This mascara is great for this look because we're gonna get that really nice PC lengthened lash and it's perfect to put the individual lashes on in between. Okay, so now that the mascara is applied, I'm gonna go ahead and do some individual lashes. I've got my Ardell individual lashes. I've got some double flare ones. I've got some natural ones. And I also have some long ones. I'm kind of just gonna fiddle through and apply some to make these lashes look extra fluttery. Could I have done this before mascara? Yes, I could have, but now I'm going to do it after. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I've applied the lashes. This side's looking a little a little obvious. Once the glue dries, I might go in with another layer of shadow just on top to try and mask it a little bit more. Um, but the lashes are applied and we're going to go ahead and continue on with the face. So for the primer, I grabbed one that I haven't used in a hot minute. This is the NYX Marshmallow Primer with Marshmallow Root. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go in with this. I don't even remember what it feels like. I remember being liking of it. It smells so good, it smells like candy. I'm just gonna take that and put it all over up on the forehead too. This is why I don't like doing my eyebrows beforehand. <laughs> I always end up having to go in and fix them anyway, especially after I do the base. But just blending that all over, getting a nice, nice base. Honestly, this one feels so good on the skin. I like it, I like it a lot. Now I am gonna be doing something a little cheeky with my foundation today. It is definitely a darker shade and I'm gonna to need to take that down my neck. So I'm also just gonna take the primer and put it down my neck. And this is why I actually kept my jewelry off because I find it, I don't know, I find it difficult to apply products onto my neck with my hands when my jewelry's on. So I just wanted to make sure that that was nice and clear because we're gonna be putting foundation there. Speaking of, I'm actually gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I haven't used this in a while. I had picked up the serum foundation. This one's been sitting on the wayside, but I kinda, I kinda wanted to pick it up. So I've got two shades here. I've got Ivory and Golden Peach, and Golden Peach is definitely like my deeper summer, more tanned shade. So I'm just gonna mix the two in the palm of my hand. That was a lot, sorry. I did not realize how much comes out of the bottle there, but I'm just gonna apply this onto my face with my fingers, down my neck as well. Like, yeah, the difference is astounding here. But I'm just gonna rub that in with my fingers, actually. This one's really nice and blendable. And then I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and blend the foundation into the skin, put a nice good layer on. We've got some really beautiful medium-ish buildable coverage with this foundation. And it just looks like skin. It's a really, really nice one. She sure do be pretty. This is a very, very pretty foundation, as it should be, because the L'Oreal prices at the drugstore are getting astronomical, as they have been for many years. This is like $28 for a foundation at the drugstore. It is wild and All right, let's go back with that Maybelline concealer. I'm just gonna <laughs> take some off on my hand because I had pumped a lot out into the sponge. Whoops, uh, I'm just gonna use that to brighten up. This one's a little bit lighter and I actually feel like we got a really nice amount of coverage from the foundation. So I'm not gonna go too heavy with the concealer, but I do just wanna use this to kind of highlight around the face. Even though it is for under eye, I think it just looks great wherever you wanna put it as concealer. And I'm gonna take my sponge and blend this out. Just bring my lips back to life a little bit. Okay, for bronzer and contouring, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I have this one in the shade Tan Lines. This is such a beautiful, beautiful cream bronzer. Honestly, the perfect dupe for any cream bronzer and contour. They've got a ton of shades and it is creamy and delicious. And I'm gonna use this to warm up the complexion, starting with my cheekbones. I always kind of start just like right in the center of my cheekbone and then I blend it up. And like I've said many times, like as I'm blending it, up into the under eye concealer, I'll often just take my beauty sponge and just kind of go back and forth to make sure that I don't have any harsh lines there. But just blending it out on my cheeks, I'll go up on my forehead, my nose, and also my jawline. Now that the bronzer is all blended in, I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Fresh Wear foundation in a powder. And I'm gonna use this to set the center of my face as well as under my eyes. I have this powder in the shade 10 Porcelain. And I am gonna be taking some flash photos after this. So I definitely wanna make sure that I am putting a good amount of the powder on so that I don't disappear into my shininess. And I'm just kind of taking that along the line underneath my contour. This is technically a foundation, so you can build up a little bit of coverage there. 
So instead of baking, I'm just putting a nice little amount there. Okay, then I'm gonna take my favorite, my favorite highlighter from the drugstore ever. This is the Wet n Wild Golden Flower Crown. Love this highlight. It is so beautiful and creamy and golden and delicious. And I'm just gonna use that on the tops of my cheekbones to bring some life and light back. I'm gonna take that on the nose as well. And I'm also gonna use this as an inner corner highlight. Just dotting that right on. So for the blush, um, even though she's got like a really deep, beautiful, juicy, berry lip on, it actually seems like the blush is a lot more subtle. So another one of my favorite blushes from the drugstore ever is the Revlon Naughty Nude number no. 6 blush. And it's just kind of like a neutral, very much a more natural blush. Kind of goes with absolutely everything. It's one of my favorite, favorite blush shades. Like, generally speaking, it's beautiful. And so I'm just going to hit the the cheeks with that, maybe a little bit on the nose. Whoop. And I definitely went more heavy, but <laughs> sometimes that's necessary for photos because your blush can kind of disappear. So I just wanna make sure that we've got a nice healthy dose of that on the cheeks. Love this color so much. It actually really reminds me of my original MAC Warm Soul. It's very similar in tone, so that might be why I love it so much. So if you want a potential dupe for that original MAC Warm Soul blush, this one is a very, very close, close cousin. Okay, I guess we should finish up the under eyes. I'm gonna take just basically the same shades that we used in our crease. I'm gonna start with the dark and then I'm gonna blend it out with the lighter one on the lower lash line. So starting with the dark. Blending that on the lower lash line and connecting it to the top. Honestly, this look could have done without it. It actually would have looked really cute with just mascara on the lower lashes, but I always feel a little bit incomplete if I don't do a little something smoky on the lower lash line. And then I'm just taking that lighter shade and softly giving it a little blend. So then for the lips, I'm gonna take my NYX Natural Lip Liner, Lip Pencil, and just really softly outline the shape of my lips with this, give them a little bit more intensity, a little more life and definition. But this one's a really great match for my personal lip color. So it's not gonna look too dark or change the color too much, just redefining the lips. Okay, and then I think the perfect product for that juicy berry lip <gasps> is the Burt's Bees Squeezy Tinted Balm. This one's in the shade Watermelon Rush. One of my favorite products that Burt's Bees has ever come out with. It is so gorgeous. I'm just gonna take that. These are so juicy because of that. They're definitely not long lasting, so I'll let that be known. But they are so hydrating on the lips. They give the most gorgeous, glossy shine and keep building up the color. But I think this is just the most beautiful, juicy berry lip. Okay, and now I need to take off my Invisalign because this is gonna get all over it. So the hair is out. I'm gonna take a final little spritz of the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. And this is the finished look, everyone. That is the makeup look inspired by the Patty Dubroff makeup on Lily Collins. It's this gorgeous, like very cool toned smoky eye with some gorgeous silver glitter, a little juicy berry lip, and very natural glowing looking skin. I'm so, so happy with how this makeup look turned out. I attempted to do a little air wrap to my hair to give it some bouncy, holiday-esque waves. <laughs> I don't know how that's uh, turning out yet thus far, but guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put my little sequins outfit on. We're gonna take some pics. Hopefully they turn out well. Let's just pop them here. Let's pop them here if they turn out well. If not, we'll just enjoy this moment of me dancing with my hands and see how the look turned out in its entirety. I'm gonna magically... Okay, the sequin dress is on. I even put tights on for this, y'all. I, I didn't own tights. I don't think I've owned tights 
since I was a child. And going to church on a Sunday, it has been a hot minute. But this lovely little dress I actually bought from H&M. I bought it in store, so I haven't at this moment found a link for it online. But there are a ton of sequin dresses that you can find on the interweb, but this one was just really fun. And thank you so much for getting ready with me, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you enjoyed the makeup, the outfit, everything. Let me know what you guys think of this look, and if you are headed to any holiday parties, are you going to recreate something similar? Let me know in the comments down below, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video, and I will see you all tomorrow for a new Landmas video. Bye!